Steven Seagal Films, Best to Worst Part 2. Out of Reach A retired covert agent turned survivalist discovers that the foster program he is using to help a young orphan is actually a human trafficking network. He travels overseas to find the girl and shut down the operation. Director Pachi Leong stars Steven Sigalida Nowakowska Agnieszka Wagner. Apart from Sigal's voice being dubbed, this film is marvelous. Matt Schulz puts in a magnificent performance as the villain, just like his character in Jason Statham's Transporter. There are some cool fights, a dramatic sword fight and an impressive shootout with loads of bullets fired. The Foreigner A freelance agent must transport a package for a mysterious employer, leading him into a web of betrayal and deceit. Director Michael Oblowitz stars Steven Seagal Harry Van Gorka Max Ryan. A menacing villain played by Max Ryan, a story involving a mysterious package, silence pistols galore, explosions, lots of fight scenes and some great locations. The scenes with Seagal and Ryan are some of the most enjoyable and the shootouts are skillfully filmed. Driven to Kill An ex-Russian mobster who is now a crime novelist must confront his past when his family is targeted by violence. Director Jeff King stars Steven Seagal Mike Dopadigor Zitsikin. An impressive variety of action scenes accompanied by fitting Russian music, one of the best villains, Igor Jijikin, and Seagal is looking slimmer. Half Past Dead A man goes undercover in a high-tech prison to find information to help prosecute those who killed his wife. While there he stumbles onto a plot involving a death row inmate and his $200 million stash of gold. Director Don Michael Paul stars Morris Chestnut Stephen Seagal Matt Battaglia. Gripping story, interesting setting, good cast and Seagal is kicking ass. Nia Peoples is particularly memorable as the sexy bad girl. Into the Sun When a government official is killed, an American operative with experience in the Yakuza culture is brought in to investigate. Director Ming stars Steven Seagal Takao Osawa Juliet Marquis. Parts of the film tend to drag but the four action scenes are entertaining and the acting is mostly good. The location makes a nice change from Eastern Europe. Mercenary for Justice A mercenary gets involved in a mission that threatens the lives of his kin. In order to succeed, he must break into one of the most well-guarded prisons in Eastern Europe and free the son of the most notorious drug lord in the world today. Director Don E. Fauntleroy stars Steven Seagal Jacqueline Lord Roger Gwynver Smith. The location, South Africa, makes for a nice change and the budget is bigger than usual. Overall very entertaining. Maximum Conviction Two former black ops operatives are required to transfer two female convicts to a prison. While on their way, unknown assailants attack them. Director Keone Waxman stars Steven Seagal Steve Austin Michael Pear. The whole film is basically set in the prison but it works well, especially when there is a limited budget. The story is fine and there is some decent action. Steve Austin and Steven Seagal make a formidable duo but they don't share enough scenes. On Deadly Ground A blowout firefighter takes on an environmentally destructive oil corporation by causing many deaths and explosions in Alaska. Director Steven Seagal stars Steven Seagal Michael Kane Joan Chen. The middle section of the film where Seagal's character has visions is dreadfully tedious and the speech about oil pollution at the end feels totally out of place. However, Michael Caine is great in it, the story is alright and there are a few good action scenes. Out for Justice With his partner executed in broad daylight by a psychotic mafia enforcer, a veteran Brooklyn officer vows revenge. But is the unstoppable detective prepared to face the truth and pay the price of blood? Director John Flynn stars Steven Seagal William Forsyth Jerry Orbach. The famous bar scene is by far the best bit of the film. The rest of the film is pretty boring and very dated. A dangerous man. A man is, after 14 years in special ops and 6 years wrongfully imprisoned, in the middle of a Chinese triad slash corrupt police shootout saving a Russian gangster's son and liberating a Chinese girl and a bag of money. The girl asks for help. Director Keone Waxman stars Steven Seagal Marlena Mavitali Krevchenko. Byron Mann is always great on screen with Seagal and he puts in an impressive performance as the villain. 
There are lots of action scenes and some of the most horrific deaths of any Seagal movie. Marked for death. A retired DEA agent is out to hunt down and take out a Jamaican drug posse that has targeted he and his family for murder. Director Dwight H. Little Star Steven Seagal Joanna Pacula Basil Wallace. Probably Seagal's strangest film, complete with voodoo and a guy coming back from the dead, or his identical twin brother. Depicts Jamaicans very negatively. There is some nicely filmed action though. Above the law. A former special operations Vietnam vet works as a Chicago cop, and uncovers CIA wrongdoing. Director Andrew Davis stars Steven Seagal Pam Greer Henry Silva. Feels very dated now but it was a strong start for someone who had never acted in anything before. A good man. A man leaves special forces and hides away as handyman in Bucharest. He befriends two sisters living next door. When the Russian mob threatens them, he takes action. Director Keone Waxman stars Steven Seagal Victor Webster Ilya Verdes. The story would have been good if it wasn't for one big plot hole. Some of the acting is dreadful but the opening sequence is impressive with lots of shooting and blood. Seagal's profession, a handyman, creates quite a few laughs and the fight scenes are decent but Victor Webster has too much screen time and seems to have more fight scenes than Seagal. Urban Justice When a dedicated police officer is murdered, his father goes on a hunt for the people responsible. Director Donnie Fontleroy stars Steven Seagal Eddie Griffin Carmen Serrano. Lots of good fight scenes but the low budget is obvious. Some of the filming locations are just buildings with plain walls and no furniture, and the writing is pretty bad. Force of Execution A crime boss who runs a southwestern town needs the help of his former hitman to deal with a new threat to his empire. Director Keone Waxman stars Steven Seagal Ving Rames Danny Trejo. A good cast and an original story but Steven Seagal has quite a small role in this one, as do Ving Rhames and Danny Trejo, the three guys that everyone wants to see. The beginning and end are the best bits. Today You Die A former thief who is trying to go straight seeks vengeance on those who framed him. Director Donnie Fontleroy stars Steven Seagal Anthony Treach Chris Sarah Buxton Stunt doubles are obvious in some of the fight scenes but the story is all right and the acting is not bad. There are also quite a few humorous moments and memorable one-liners. Born to Raise Hell A U.S. drugs cop in Bucharest is up against a Russian gun and drug trafficker employing cute women and a gypsy gang leader, who plunders, rapes and kills the young and rich. Lots of fighting and shooting. Director Loro David Chartrand del Valle stars Steven Seagal then batter out Aaron Shalavi. The story is mediocre, the acting is bad, there is little action, and it all feels really cheap. However, the fight scene where Seagal gets out of his van to deal with some East European thugs is one of the very best and hilarious. Kill Switch A troubled detective travels to Memphis in order to track down a pair of serial killers. Director Jeff King stars Steven Seagal Isaac Hayes Holly Alyssa. The fight scenes are ridiculously long, and shots are just repeated over and over again in a very annoying way. The story is decent though, and the acting is all right. Submerged Chris Cody, the world's best mercenary, is freed from prison but there's a catch. Cody must use his lethal weapons and fighting skills to stop a group of terrorists who have taken over a nuclear sub. Director Anthony Hickox stars Steven Seagal Christine Adams William Hope. The story is a bit of a mess, and it's quite difficult to work out what's going on at times. However, there are a few cool. Shadow Man An intelligence operative discovers that no one is what they seem in the shadowy world of espionage. Director Michael Cush stars Steven Seagal Eva Pope Imelda Staunton. A few good action scenes but that's it. A boring plot, dreadful acting and it feels really cheap and stupid. Flight of Fury John is sent in to recover a stolen stealth bomber. His trusty sidekick Roger and ever-faithful Jessica fight the rebel forces of Bannon Siston, led by the vivacious Eliana. Director Michael Cush stars Steven Seagal Mark Baisley Steve Toussaint. The fight scene in the shop near the start is pretty good but that's about it. Terrible acting, really cheaply made. Forgettable action scenes and a dreadful script. Against the Dark 
In a post-apocalyptic world, a master swordsman leads a squad of ex-military vigilantes into a hospital on a mission to rescue trapped survivors from bloodthirsty disease-infected humans. Director Richard Crudo stars Steven Seagal to know I read Jenna Harrison. Seeing Steven Seagal dressed in black and slaughtering lots of zombies with his sword is the only good thing in this movie. Per acting, a very low-budget feel and most of it is boring rather than scary or exciting. The Patriot A respected doctor must race against time to find a cure for a lethal virus unleashed by a paramilitary militia leader. Director Dean Semler stars Steven Seagal L.Q. Jones Gaylord Sartain. Really boring. This role and type of film does not suit Steven Seagal at all. Black Dawn. Jonathan Cold returns, this time he goes undercover to stop a group of terrorists before they bomb Los Angeles. Director Alexander Grzynski stars Steven Seagal Tamara Davies John Piper Ferguson. A boring story with basically no connection to the foreigner. The acting is bad and overall it feels really cheaply made. The action scenes are badly edited, and it seems that Seagal didn't do any of the fight scenes himself stunt doubles did everything for him. Attack Force An elite U.S. military unit are killed during an overseas assignment in Paris. Their commander discovers that a new drug turns people into deranged killers and he must stop its inventor who plans to release it to the entire population. Director Michael Cush stars Steven Seagal Lisa Love Brand David Kennedy. A complete mess. It feels like scenes from three different films stuck together. The action scenes are boring, the acting is bad and the script is confused and rushed. It is difficult to think of films worse than this. <laughs>